Hey, good evening guys, it's uh, another Wednesday. Welcome to another Backlog Builder episode. My name is Ariel and you are watching AO Mecha Live. Wow, can you believe it's a Wednesday already? This week is starting to feel like it's going by fast. So thank you for hanging out tonight. A um, couple of recaps. Uh, last Saturday, we had Kaz as our guest for the featured builder uh, episode. Hopefully you guys got a chance to see uh, the recap and replay of that over at my YouTube, youtube.com slash uh, On Monday, we started with the high grade full armor Gundam. This is from the Thunderbolt series. And wow, it was, it was a nice theme put together kit i really like the design of it um we did kind of uh well i did i almost lost a piece but i found a piece um she is standing and we're going to continue on that um some stuff for the show today we're going to be obviously continuing on the work on the high grade um thunderbolt uh, gundam which is the full armor gundam um, we're going to look at some uh, works that I saw from uh, the Instagram. We're going to do a little bit of feature on that one. And then we will touch base on our feature builder uh, episode for Saturday uh, and some more information along the way. So hopefully uh, you guys could come and hang out tonight, chill out, let me know what's going on. And uh, why don't we go to the arena and take a look at where we left off. All right, so before we start, I just want to say hi to everybody in the uh, live stream um, over at Facebook. We have Rani. Uh, my YouTube is not <laughs> cooperating with me, so watching it here instead. That's awesome. And uh, Joseph Ryan is watching it as well. Hey, how's it going, brother Ryan? And uh, let's see here what's going on over at YouTube Live. YouTube Live, lots of people. We have R13, Mike Skyers. Hey, Mike Skyers was also a former featured uh, builder. You can see his episode as well on the YouTube channel. Uh, and we have uh, Dave Ree, uh, just in time for his lunch break. We have Chandra over at the West Coast. How's it going, Chan? And uh, yeah, happy hump day, everybody. So um, what we're doing today, we are going to continue on with the... Uh, full armor. So just a quick recap of where we are. We managed to build the torso uh, and we managed to connect the legs um, now fully onto it, the foot and all that stuff. Really good kit so far. Tonight we are going to be continuing this and um, we're going to be using our trusty god hand nippers. I have two of these blades. Ugh, maybe I'll just use one. <laughs> this guy will do. They're both sharp. They're both new. I was um, I was working on something earlier on and of course our trusty part separator um, should we need to backtrack from our journey. Um, yeah, how are you guys doing tonight? So last night, actually like less than 24 hours ago, I did a 30 minute challenge and that is with the 30 minute missions uh, kit, um, which is the Rabbit. And that is kind of like Bandai's kind of like introduction to Gunpla kit line. And it's it's gaining more momentum. The, the Rabbit, I believe, is the fourth um, mobile suit or like robot mecha of that series. And uh, I did that one as well. So I did it in under 30 minutes, but it was a panic. Um, I did cut my thumb. <laughs> so that kind of hurt. I don't want to show you guys kind of gross. Um, but yeah, it can be done in 30 minutes. Um, so if you guys were thinking of picking something like that up, um, it's really good for beginners. It's good to practice and it's also good to initiate people in kit bashing. So that's what I liked about the kit uh, in general. So yeah, let's um, let's go to go ahead and start working on this. I am just ah, uh, oh, there's something wrong. I can't see the Facebook feeds, so I'm just redoing the Facebook feeds right now. We have Jan uh, Jan Michael as well joining us. How's it going? Hope you are having a good Wednesday, guys. Hope you guys are all having a good Wednesdays, and thank you for uh, joining me tonight. So why don't we go ahead with this guy here and uh work on him so what i want to do next is definitely the arms this guy has four shields so we're going to work on the shields and we're going to work on the backpack next so why don't we go ahead and do that so this part here looks like the rest of it is the arms so we're probably going to get all of these guys uh taken out so we could use it for the arms uh why don't we start with that we're probably going to need also some pc parts so i have the pc parts handy here i'm just going to put that underneath here um yeah, what's new? Hopefully you guys are liking the jazz background music. We got some jazz playing. Hopefully it's not too loud. Um, let me make sure that that is within volume. Let me know in the comment if uh, the volume is too loud for you guys and I will make some adjustments. This is the first time. We actually have several music jazz playing tonight. Um, well, not a lot. There's like maybe a couple that we'll be cycling through. Hopefully uh, it's not too repetitive. <laughs> But it's nice to have jazz. Now, those of you guys are wondering why we have jazz. Um, 
playing in the background, the Thunderbolt series uh, revolves heavily around with jazz music in the background. So uh, I figured as a homage to it that um, we could uh, have that playing uh, in the background. So yeah. Uh, let's see some uh, some comments already. See, R13 is building the Legao. That is from the Gundam Seed series. I said get, suggest getting all the expansions. Yeah, Seth, I, I, I've been meaning to get the expansions as well. I was looking at the heavy loader ones um, and the tank version. I think the tank version for the uh, Rabbit would be really cool for it. Uh, and thanks for joining us. Seth is here from uh, Instagram. So shout out to you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, let's see here. Vince. Uh, yo, I'm currently building this as well. Just finished my high grade Zaku, Psycho Zaku. Awesome, dude. Like, I how is the Zaku, by the way? Like, I I have not built that one yet. So let me know what uh, what you think about it. Um, okay, so let's continue. We got this going on. I don't know why I cut those pieces. So I'm just assuming we need them. First, we're probably gonna need some PC parts, which is PC one. These guys here, our favorite friends, the PC one. And let's see, I think we're gonna need the G14. Just these guys here. Okay, so let's pop those guys out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna arrange them in a line so that we know where things are going. And that has been kind of like our batch process um, when we're both working obviously on things um, to separate them in their own piles. Um, at least that's how I've been kind of practicing. Like, so I just keep a track of like where my parts are and what I'm working on. Um, almost kind of like a routine and you if you will so but yeah jazz music thunderbolt um i do have the soundtrack but obviously with all the copyright infringements and all that stuff i i couldn't play any of the uh, the jazz uh from it or or I'd get in trouble so this right now the youtube um library is what i'm using to play some of these jazz stuff for you guys um I, I i can't hear it unfortunately so i will have to listen to it like after um i was listening to it before the show uh, so I, I hopefully I, that the selection we have here is to um, to your liking. Okay, so we are almost done with the Spruce G, and it's it's kind of cool to like it's so satisfying to finish a runner. And it looks like this is it's weird. This I know for a fact is for a shield, so I don't know why they would they would have this piece um, for it. So, anyways. Let's get that out. Um, G. Oh no, there's two. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought it was only one side. My mistake. Look at that. Learning something new, guys, every day. <laughs> Facebook, how's it going, guys? Um, from Jan Michael. It's a good Wednesday. Started painting my first MG, the RX 782 Origin version. The Origin version is probably one of my favorite, and I didn't think I was gonna fall in love with it so much. But the it, I I have grown to love the Origins, both in Master Grade and in High Grade. Um, let me know what you think about your master grade. Do you have any issues with it or like, you know, what kind of color scheme are you gonna be working on that? Okay, uh, let's see here. <laughs> uh, there's a couple more comments uh, from Seth. It looks so nice. No problem, man. This high grade sock is frustrating for a high grade. It's such a nice build. I'm ready for the perfect Gundam from Thunderbolt. Oh, yeah, yeah that's gonna be cool. Uh, from Vince, uh, <laughs> Sir Aomeka, how's your finger? Um, it's healing. I don't, I don't want to gross people out, but Let's see if I can capture. Yeah, I, I got a little slice from it. It's it's our builder's scar. It, it'll heal, but I wouldn't worry about it. Um, enjoyed the build. So many options for diorama. Awesome. That is from uh, R13, and we're just gonna continue on with the build uh, for this guy here. So first, we're gonna put these guys into place, and I believe it goes like that. And this is the upper arm connection. Um, let's get going. Let go win from set battle scars. Yep, definitely battle scars for sure. <laughs> um, they do heal. It's away from the heart, as my dad would say. And hi, dad, if you're watching. Parents tend to uh, come and hang out um, on the show, so that's really nice of them. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. We got this and this going. I believe they're supposed to secure, or are they two different pieces? No, oh, they're the same. And this is the connector piece for the upper arm. I believe if we ever get, get it to connect properly. Okay, whoops. Jumping jacks. Holy cow. And I feel like the camera might be a little too high, so I'm just gonna adjust the camera, guys. Bear with me. Let's get a little bit more up close and personal with some of the parts here. I think this is a nice area here. What do you guys think? Good? Okay. 
let's continue. So, I don't know, what's, what's new? Um, I haven't been following much on any of the Gunpla news just because I have been busy um, with work. However, um, I have seen like, you know, obviously the new uh, releases. Um, I think a lot of people are following the RX-78 um, releases. The Barbados was, I think, the biggest news from the MGEX uh, series. So very interested in how that's going to go. And I, I just, I haven't even built my Master Grade Barbados. A P Bandai is coming out with the all forms uh, armor pack for it. And now we're getting this, um, I'm just going to put this guy here. We're getting this MGEX Barbados, and uh, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> um, of course, I, 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 I'm curious to see how, how it goes, but it's kind of overkill with, with the exact same, um, I guess, kit. And, you know, people will eventually kind of get tired of the same... I don't know, that's how I feel about it. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to talk smack about it because like I eventually will want to build one just because I it is new and I am curious about it but at the same time there's so many kits in the pool Bandai that you could totally totally milk as a new uh, as a new item so I'm kind of again disappointed that they didn't take uh, an alternative route uh, to it okay so what do we need here we need the back part like this and this part here goes like that. Sweet. How are you guys doing tonight? Okay, let's check it out. Facebook Live, Ranny. Uh, probably doing custom on my old Astro Boy toy. Okay. Um, but today I'm working, uh, have a meeting this afternoon. I think it's Lupus Rex for the MGEX. Not sure. Oh, okay. It's, yeah, okay. Lupus Rex. That's, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And I think, um, again, more people are trying to, um, very anticipating of the, anticipating the release of the unicorn. So even I'm kind of curious about it. So let's see if I can get my hands on one of those guys uh, as well uh, in the next while. I have a feeling that this is loose and I don't know why. I think I'm missing a piece in here. Definitely feel like I'm missing a piece in here. And that is PC-15. Let's see. Let me get this PC part out here. And this is what's going to connect the upper arm connector to the, I guess, upper arm to the shoulder area. And let's go backtrack a little, but just a little, just enough, um, so that we could get the correct pieces in here um, to do the right thing. So. Okay, going this way. Yes. All right, that's one. Oh, I think. Yeah, no, that's correct. That's correct. Continue. All right. So this feels like it's gonna connect nicely. Okay, there we go. It is secured. Nice. Very cool. Uh, let's check it out. Uh, over at YouTube Live. Uh, lots of stuff. Isn't that fake news? Barbados was fake news. Was it fake news? I don't know. I'm, I'm now confused. Is it fake news? <laughs> who can confirm this? Who who knows the knowledge and who, who has knowledge of this? <laughs> if it's fake news, I totally got duped. That That's kind of funny. Uh, I feel like an idiot now, but yeah, whatever. Let's see. Um, have you seen the coverage uh, Converge Red Dragon Astray? No, I have not. MGX uh, Barbados was a fake post, um, shopping P Bandai and watching the stream. <laughs> that is a dangerous combination, my friend, because I will tempt you. <laughs> Go ahead and buy, man. <laughs> hit that add to cart and hit that checkout button. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, let's continue. Uh, speculation on Barbados, someone just uh, built the hype. Fake news. Oh, I, I got suckered into fake news, guys. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I think we're gonna need to uh, start putting in stuff in here and let's see. I want to say it's these guys next. Um, I'm pretty sure these are the cover for it. So let's let's go take a look and just grab these guys out of it. Barbados is a fake news. Oh my god. 
I kind of kind of feeling a little dumb here. <laughs> uh, over at Facebook, we have Jan Michael. Um, I'm keeping the original colors, just uh, simple pre-shading and highlights. Uh, since it's my first RX-78 II, uh, gotta give the granddad some tribute. That's awesome. Yeah, please post that. Um, I would love to see your work uh, on that. And uh, and how is the... We were working on a Megami device as well. Um, is that one complete now or are you still working on it? Uh, over here at Facebook, we also have Edson. There's no official news about the new MGEX Barbados, but he is laughing because he's laughing at me. <laughs> and and I totally deserve that, guys. I I'm gonna go ahead and cut these shields just because like they're so tempting. <laughs> we have four of these shields that we need to go through tonight, and yeah, let's just let's just go ahead and cut these guys out. I really like the design of the shield. It's a very mixture of that Jess. Oh, is, it is it Jesta? No, not Jesta. Um, Jagan. Like a Jagan shield, very very uh, interesting shape selection for it. I, I personally like it. I think it's a nice twist to the RX78 um, generic shield. Um, and after the build, I do have the Mudrock uh, on standby as our size comparison because they are both variations of the RX78. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the fuel pack as well. I'm just gonna leave it up here because I I, I just felt like it. <laughs> there really is no. Uh... No explanation to why I do things anymore, um, because this is the adventure that we do on our own, you know? We don't really necessarily have to follow every single instructions. Um, the, as you know, the instructions here are mere guide, not necessarily the rule, so feel free to build on your own. And there is a very, very loud car outside, um, the vibration of that I could feel. It's crazy, someone's having a party. It's like Cinco de Mayo! <laughs> uh, let's take a look at uh, YouTube Live. Um, fake news, uh, Skyers. I checked Bandai's Twitter and I don't see it on there. Uh, it was an artwork by a fan. Someone added MGEX on it. I literally yelled out hype. Uh, that's from Skyers. Then minutes later, was crushed to find out it was fake. Oh, same. I'm just finding it out now. So you're getting my initial reaction. Okay, so not gonna lie, I, I still feel really dumb about this news. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, from Seth, I wish they did color correction on the plastic so less stickers on the shields. Yes, um, that is definitely one of my grips about this kit. Um, it is a sticker for the shields. That is very, very unfortunate. And, and again, that's definitely a miss, I think, from Bandai. They, they should have done... an. What, what does it take to add another plastic to it? It could be white for all I care, and you could put the sticker on top of that. But for as long as there's an option, to take it out and 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 use it um, uh, for painting instead of just yeah. Anyways, long story on that, guys. Let's continue. Uh, we're probably gonna need uh, these guys here because these look like the shoulder pads for it and the lower arm. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and cut that. We're gonna do another ten minutes on this and we're gonna do a quick commercial break uh, and then uh, we'll continue on. Hopefully, in the next ten minutes, we get the arm up and running and then we're gonna move on to the head and then backpack. So yeah, it is a Wednesday, my dudes. Huh? How was your week going so far, guys? Any crazy events that, that, that's going on? Shout out to all the, the Filipino YouTubers, by the way. You guys have been such a very, very helpful moral support uh, on, on air and off air. Guys, thank you so much. Shout out to every one of you guys. Really, really appreciate that. And magandang umaga sa inyo lahat over at Philippines. Um, hopefully you guys are having a good breakfast day so far. I know it's a bit early there and thank you um, for tuning in um, to AOMECA Live. Okay, let's take a look at um, YouTube Live, no sorry, Facebook Live um, from Rani said it's fake news and Jan, yeah, uh, it's complete both the Ninja art and Archer um, posted them before on Side6 Facebook. I will have to check that out. I'm sorry I missed it. Um, I have been kind of preoccupied with a lot of all projects going on, um, lots of stuff. I am working now with a few people trying to do some collaborative work. I'm working on, with them um, for some help on some new content creation and I can't wait to reveal the projects uh, I've been working with with other talented people. Um, I want to showcase their work and, and also feature them um, once our collaboration is live and complete. 
So keep an eye out for that, guys. Lots of talented people that I've met in the last while. And if you think um, we have an opportunity to collaborate, feel free to message me. Um, speaking of collaboration and networking, guys, if you guys don't have each other's social network um, handle or following each other, feel free to do so. Post your, um, your, your location for where they could find you, be it Instagram, Facebook pages, YouTube. My, my platform is for you guys to connect with each other and it's such a lively bunch here tonight. Thank you very much for joining in and uh, yeah. Um, I, and if I'm not following you guys, guys, let me know. I want to follow you guys. I want to see your story. I want to be there with your journey as much as you guys are with mine. So please, 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 let's follow each other. Okay, well, let's continue with this. Um, we're gonna start putting stuff together and I think I'm missing something which is a B2. So lots of stuff in the table right now, just, just to reorganize ourselves. So far, this is what we're going to need for the arms to work. And I believe I did I cut the, I did not cut these guys, so we're probably gonna need these uh, upper arm bicep -y covers. Okay. There we go, there we go. Sweet. Good stuff here. Okay, so that being said, I think we are in an opportunity right now to put all of these guys together in, in a sequence. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So first, what we're going to need to do is the cover plate on the arm, and we're just going to slice some of the nubs away. Um, I unfortunately have not had a chance to um, unbox the gun primer items. Um, so I will be doing that in the next while because I, I can't wait to start using them on this and uh, start seeing the difference um, when we start taking out the nubs and you know adding some some cool stuff, new product, new stuff to check a look at. And also this knife was the same knife that uh, made me bleed last night. It is now, um, it now has a little bit, bit of piece of me <laughs> on its blade. <laughs> but it's cool, I survived it. All good, everything is all good guys. All right, let's check it out. Uh, YouTube, what's going on there, guys? Um, let's see here. Uh, Fufo, Fufo TV, how's it going? Hello, hello, welcome to the show. Um, Seth, I have a custom Xeon reliefs going on mine, and that kind of gives away what type of paint I'm going to do with the Thunderbolt FA. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Uh, from Tao, hello, how was yesterday? How was yesterday? We was uh, busy, um, but we will be chatting soon, Tao. Uh, we have some projects to work on tonight. <laughs> uh, and say hi to Tao, guys. Um, and set uncle's killing it on YouTube. Um, is the build picnic happening this weekend? Yes, I will be posting the, um, the information on that. I was really busy today uh, in the evening to make any any comments on that yet, but um, we're, it's going to be at Christy Pitts. It's going to be probably Sunday afternoon. We just got to pick a time and we'll adjust it to see how people's uh, um, um, schedules are. And also, Mike, uh, if Cass can make it, send her an invite. I will also send her an invite. I think it would be nice for her to get out and just come hang out with us. And for you as well to meet up, uh, I would love to hang out with you guys if possible on Sunday. Um, let's see here. Let's go over to Facebook Live. What's going on there, guys? Um, from Ranny. Hobby Works by Ranny on YouTube. Yep, that's his. And uh, Ranny the Poo on Insta. Give him a follow, guys. Um, and uh, Jan Michael's page is uh, Mecca U <laughs> Y U V I O H. Uh, I follow back as well. Shameless plug. That's, there's no such thing as shameless plug here, guys. This is a free community. I'm here to help the community grow and we can't grow without networking so please guys share each other's instagram i have no restriction over that promote whatever you guys want to do guys check each other out guys let's let's continue building this amazing community of people i'm so happy that i met a lot of you guys so far um let's continue on here i i need to get um did i put the pc 11 yeah there's pc 11 here because this is tight um, let's see here, I'm looking at the time, we have three minutes left, can I put this all together in three minutes? Probably not, but we're gonna try. Um, we're gonna need a PC1 for the upper to connect that. Our fa fabulous PC1 piece, and then we are gonna get the, I wanna say, I've seen it before, these guys here, the number fives, the number five PC are usually the handhold, so, yep, there they are. Sweet! Get this guy going here. 
And we're gonna get this guy going here. Okay, the cool thing so far about the arm and the upper arm, you could take them apart pretty easily so that you could paint them. Um, or take them apart so you could actually probably clear off the seam lines on the lower forearm um, ahead of time and, and still be able to reconnect it with the upper arm. So that is a plus. For construction design-wise, That that is that's cool. I approve that. Okay, I'm just gonna nip these guys slightly out. And let's see if we can connect the upper arm. Go like that? Yeah, it does. I think it does. Okay, so there we go. And then we're gonna connect this guy to this guy here. Ooh. Can't force that too much. And then we're gonna connect, I believe, this and this guy here to close the upper shoulder for the armor piece. And there you have it. So the arm can bend like so there is a restriction it can't bend the full u which is fine um, there is a secondary bend at the lower part right here and then it does another push as it goes to the top cool all right let's repeat that on the other side and let's continue okay i'm just trying to get this uh connect the same way as the first one the pc part tends to be Okay, so for this kit, the PC part and the hole on the um, on the plastic has a little bit of difficulty sometimes. So that so far has been my challenge with this kit. Um, otherwise, not bad. It's a pretty standard um, high grade. And just make sure we're going to connect it to the right piece here. Okay, and I see there's a little bit of extra pieces there. Yeah, definitely what the, the design here is something that you could work on the seam lines ahead of time um, without having to do like a C-cut or any type of modifications to the actual arm itself um, before you complete it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, do that, and let's put the armor cover plate this way. No, I think it's, yeah, it's that way. And this way as well. Right. Okay, so that's cool. We have the left and right now. Um, it's not yet complete, but we're just going to put it on the Gundam just so that we get some kind of progress shown here. Okay, so that is pretty cool. The full armor um, Gundam is coming together. All right, let's do a quick check on what's going on at uh, YouTube. What's going on there, YouTube? Lots of stuff happening here. Um, Cass is going to carpool with me. Awesome! Uh, is this is the build picnic happening this weekend? Yes. Um, Instagram, just my name. Check him out. It's Davery. Davery. Um, set. Um, just sh uh, pretty sure Jan Michael's name is a Rick and Morty reference. <laughs> nice. Facebook uh, is set builds. Oh, awesome! Check him out. And on Instagram, set hype uh, thirteen. Uh, pronounce uh, seti pie. Ah, oh, seti pie. I get it. I get it. There we go. Sorry, I didn't read the second part. I'm jumping ahead. Uh, Dave Ree shared the stream. I need to eat now. Awesome. Thank you for joining us for a bit. We'll talk soon. Um, set uh, panel lining goes a long way on the Thunderbolt kits. That is absolutely correct. All right. Speaking of community and building community, I'm just gonna do a quick break and share you a little bit about my community. Check this out. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the stream, and hopefully you guys are enjoying the show so far. I just want to let you guys know about an amazing online community that I am part of and it's called Side6. Here you will find like-minded modelers and hobbyists who enjoy the mecha and gunpla genre. We encourage posting of whips, projects, and tutorials to help each other move forward in our hobby and in our community. We are always open to new members of all skill levels, so come check us out at facebook.com groups slash Side6. We also have an Instagram where we feature members' works, and you can find that at instagram.com slash side6 underscore mecha. For all new club information, resources, and news, you can check out our website at www.side6.club. All right, let's get back to the show and see what's going on there. And welcome back. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, are having a good Wednesday night. You're watching AO Mecha Live. My name is Ariel, and today we are still continuing on building the uh, FA-78 Full Armor Gundam. Let's go to the arena and uh, continue on. So we have the upper arm already installed here. What we're going to do next is we're going to complete the upper area, put the head, and then the backpack. So for us to do that, we will need the A part, and I saw it earlier. Uh, oh, interesting. 
backpack connector I just saw there. I'm just gonna go ahead and nip this guy. <laughs> Rules and following instructions, what are those? Okay, I'm just gonna do that. Um, oh man, the rest of it is the Gundam head, so I'm just gonna go ahead and deviate a little. I know, I know, we're gonna, we're gonna finish that arm, don't worry. But at the same time, since I'm already cutting it, I'm doing kind of like a batch cut um, of things that, that are gonna happen anyways. So hopefully we'll get some traction. Okay, what we need are these guys here, and these are the upper arm, sorry, the shoulder covers um, for this guy here, so it's gonna go to those parts over there. All right, let's continue. I think it's this piece. Okay, we're gonna get this guy here. Oh man. Yeah, it's weird because like every time I'm using the white pieces, the tracking on my camera, and sorry for that guys, it's not a really, really super fast tracking camera. We're gonna have to make do. I might have to slow it down a little for precision cuts. That way it's framed in and uh, it's, it's clear at least. Okay. So, what do we else do we need here? That looks like a nice side V-fin, but this is the face mask. So we're gonna go ahead and take the face mask out. And we're gonna put this along with the head. So now that we have these two guys here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the arm, and then I'm pretty sure the accent to that is the purple one. So we're gonna go ahead and grab these purple plates here, and I believe it's these thrusters and all that. Oh, we're gonna take the shield out just to simplify things a little. And yeah, as you can see, there really isn't any room for what's going on with... It's going to be a sticker city for that, but I'm not going to... I'm not, I don't plan on using the stickers on this, so after the build, um, we're just going to leave it as is uh, until I paint it. I, I really am um, looking forward to painting this kit um, and see how the challenge would be for the shield because like that is some really thin border there to uh, be masking. So again, very big concern, but at the same time, it'd be a nice fun challenge. Let's go. And right here. Okay, so that is the four shields and uh, it's it's looking really cool. Um, what we do need, let's put these Apex, not Apex, the uh, A, um, pieces onto the kit so that we could start putting the accent details onto it um, and then uh, I'm looking forward to showing you guys um, some new stuff that I saw on Instagram and online uh, in the next uh, couple of minutes so stay tuned for that if you can times permitting if you're allowed <laughs> all right oh tricky 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 hang on hang on Okay, so, okay, ooh, that was tricky. So there is a component here that that A locks into, um, so you gotta make sure you get the right um, angle for that. Um, and that is something I almost missed. And I keep seeing some nubs on this, so that's why I'm just kinda, kinda cleaning it a little bit and before we install it. Cool. All right, let's continue. Pretty sure it goes at the back like so. I really would hate for this thing to oh uh, yeah yeah no it's supposed to go this way. <laughs> it's supposed to go this way, yet it's not going. Oh my god. Okay, let's take the arm out completely. Make the side skirt fell. Uh let's see, what's what's giving us trouble here? I've already cut it. Okay, there we go. I heard the snap, snap hizzle. And this guy here is just supposed to connect. Okay, a little bit of a struggle there. Oh, sorry about that, guys. This guy is really snugly fit here. And uh, just noticing that there is a... Okay, no, that's good, that's good. Okay, so uh, we're going to take the arms out again, just so that it's easier for me to maneuver instead of like... Touching that that kit all over the place. Ah, uh, all right. Let's let's reposition. Get a little bit more comfortable. Um, so the hands are here. That's good. We are gonna go ahead and get 
the rest of the accent here. So we need six D6. Where are you? Six are over here. Let's start with those guys. So we need two sets of these for either side of the arm. We'll go ahead and put that over here. So what's going on there, guys? Um, Facebook Live. Um, Jan. Uh, Michael, he's saying, here's my IG. Um, actually, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh! reference. Oh, okay, cool. I get it with the O. Oh. oh. <laughs> Alright, let's step it up a little bit, Ariel. Let's continue. Let's go to YouTube, see what's going on there. Um, let's show. Whoa, lots of stuff happening. Set Bell, love the core builds. Oh, he's a core builder as well. I'm the one posting stuff too in the Core G Uprising. Oh, awesome. Body done with the Legao. Wow, that's you're, you're going pretty fast there, Brian. Um, Vince, uh, my buddy runs that site. Uh, he's working on some pretty awesome uh, mods and adapters for the Arius build. Nice, guys. So I'm assuming that's some kind of a competition or a group build. Sorry, I'm not familiar with it. I haven't followed the core stuff. Help me, guys. Um, a Gundam. Hi, everyone. Just started watching Thunderbolt. Love the initial opening, and I'm hooked. Uh, even better, Jan. Nice. Nice, nice. <laughs> uh, so, Seth is recognizing Jan's uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, reference there. Cool stuff, guys. <laughs> All right. So, we got that going. We need something for the top, I think. This is D27. So, six and so six to the bottom. Two, uh, seven is in the top. And D26. Am I missing something here? Okay, let's get the seven out and connect those guys. So we'll, we'll continue. Yep, a uh, little speed would do a little good for us because like, I want to be within the hour and a half mark tonight, I believe. Uh, if not, Tao is going to start haunting me um, for stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding, she's awesome. Get to work with her. Um. But yeah, that is that is life right now. I am such a hard-working person that right after the stream, we're going straight back to work. <laughs> no, no, uh, I am doing okay. Um, very glad to keep busy, of course. Interesting. These v these are vents that stick out. That is really cool. Okay, okay, I'm sold. Also, someone name dropped Uprising. That's Owen Atkin. Hey, Owen, how's it going? Thanks for joining the stream. That's over at YouTube. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, Thunderbolt. I keep meaning to do a core Gundam build of it. I think that would be really cool. Um, just because of the armor pack potential of the unicorn on a core Gundam. Definitely something I would uh, take a look at. Um, and Owen, I, I'm pretty sure I'm following you, uh, but if not, I, I please add me and I will definitely follow you back. Um, there's just so many people, sometimes it's hard to keep track, but I do try my best to um, get to know you guys as much as I can and you know interact with you guys at a regular basis. Neon Wave just got here, what did I miss? Um, so far I did not get um, cut. Um, we are working on the arms right now of the Thunderbolt. We're almost done and uh, connecting this and we're going to go ahead and connect the head next and then the backpack. So we're well on our way. Our next break will be after we put the backpack together and then we're going to do the weapon system as the last part of it. Okay, let's continue. I think that is it for all of these guys here. We're going to go ahead and take the uh, white pieces for the hands um, and instead of... I think I want to put the firing trigger um, for both hands on this one just because it's a dual wielding uh, kit. I think that would be good to have um, the trigger finger hands. There's two options for the hands by the way. One is a closed fist one and the other one is the uh, the triggery fingery hand. So I'm assuming, okay, so it's definitely not that. Which one would it be? It'll be this guy's here. Okay, not bad, not bad. So how's it going, Neon Wave? <laughs> nice to meet you. First time watcher. Oh, cool. Um, oh, and thank you very much. Uh, not cut. Uh, not a real build till you sacrifice some blood to it. <laughs> you know what? I, I, that resonates so much with a lot of builders. And I know all you guys, at one point or the other, will get injured. 
it's not something to be shamed uh, about. Um, it, accidents happen. Just make sure you guys learn from the mistakes and try not, obviously, not to kill yourself uh, or you know damage it any further. I did get nicked um, last night because I was very overzealous and and trying to do a speed build on the rabbit which is totally worth it by the way um if i didn't get injured that night i could have probably brought that time down to like 25 minutes easily um also if you don't do a unboxing ripping them out from that if they're already out you could probably shave off another minute off that all honesty 24 24 minutes sounds about pretty uh, a good time um for someone that is an avid builder but for someone that is new our Enjoy it. Enjoy the builds. There's no point of rushing on your build if you're just not gonna have fun or or you know get yourself injured kind of deal. So just keep that in mind. Um, we're gonna need the cover plates for these guys, and I believe it's the B part here. Hang on, is this? Uh, I think it's the B11s. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this guy. I remember seeing two sets of this, so I think it doesn't matter which runner you take it from. Um, it's still gonna be a cover plate for the back of the hands and that will complete our arms and then we're gonna go ahead finish the head and then go work on the backpack next um, hopefully get those all done and up in the next 15 minutes that way we could do some show and tell very very excited to share with you guys some new stuff that I saw also guys if you guys have any um, cool work that you saw and you want me to feature on the show feel free to DM me I'm, I'm really open to collaboration and showcasing people that you guys follow as well so Anyways, that's just a quick bit for me, definitely. Um, yeah, hit me up anytime, guys. Uh, feel free to DM me. I'd love to chat with any of you guys off air as well. Um, if you guys want to just talk shop, if you have any ideas you want to, you know, obviously uh, talk about, or if you just want to share with me some of your, uh, your current work, feel free to tag me as well, especially on Instagram. Very active there these days. Um, actually, very big news. I'm so happy about this. And I, I just want to say thank you to all you guys. Actually, let's do this. Thank you guys for the support you guys have shown AO Mecca in the last couple of months. Um, it is now, I believe, uh, six months in, I want to say. So I started around March, March, April, May, June, July, August, and we're just in September. So we're, we're crossing into the seventh month starting uh, now. Um, and and I, I couldn't believe how far um, this show has grown, met so many people. And, and all the opportunities to work with these feature builders um, and, and work with amazing companies like the USA Gundam Store and Gun Primer. Um, I would not have imagined doing that, but I can't do that without you guys. Uh, and you guys really matter to me, especially for this show. Um, and I do this because you guys keep me motivated. So thank you for that. Um, Instagram account right now, if you're not following it, it's AO underscore Mecca, and it just crossed the 3k followers mark so i am very very happy about that thank you thank you thank you so much um for your help all right let's go back to the arena guys okay so we got that going um we could finish the arms but i said we are going to finish the head first so we're going to continue on that this looks like a cover plate um uh, for this guy here in the front like so because like every joint on the thunderbolt has like that sleeve cover and with this, the sleeve cover, unlike the Master Grade, the Master Grade, the sleeve cover is an actual, like, clothy thing that you go put, like, plastic cloth. I don't know what it's called. But this one is a mold in to the joints. So, anyways, that's that for that. Um, we're gonna do this, and let's see if we could get this going. Once we get the head in there, I think it's gonna be a nice sail to the ending after this. Continue that. I hate this piece because like these are the type of pieces that will just jump and go missing. Um, okay, I don't see anything else here that we think we need, so... I'm trying to find the face plate for it. This is the rest of the weapons and it looks like that's pretty easy to put together. Okay, what's going on? Um, am I missing something from the back of the arm? Yes, okay, so these, <laughs> I'm finding things to put onto this, right here. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so this is the last, the last few pieces here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish B, because um, I think I know where they're gonna go, roughly. This is, this is a backpack unit, for sure. That This is what holds the, um, 
these these guys together i'm pretty sure of that so that is now runner g fully come oh no whoa, no whoa, whoa, whoa. there's a piece of the beam saber I want, does this have two beam sabers or or four if it has four shields one would say that there's four beam sabers and it's a short beam saber wow it's a single hand beam saber that is cool it's a little short stubby beam saber <laughs> okay all right so that's runner b runner b is officially completed i put that over there so we can't miss it we're gonna do the same thing and line them up so that we can get all the parts out of this runner totally deviating from what i was planning on doing just now but it is what it is what we do here is an adventure and it's wherever the road takes us all right sound good uh look for the a runner yes uh actually let's see what's going on here um the bb commando sinandra actually let me let me let me scroll back up real quick oh my god there's so many things happening here lots of lots of conversation this is awesome okay let's start over here um nice to meet you vince that's from owen chandra he cut himself last night so he is good <laughs> yeah blood for blood for the blood god skull for the skull throne that's right <laughs> just built the uh seal nova myself um can't wait to get my hands on the rabbit the rabbit is actually a fun build i think you'll love it especially if you're into the 30 minute missions all of them so far have been really good and really fun to build um let's see here um from set take the hour and knock out the nubs i will i will be cleaning that up for sure <laughs> currently building the sami sami sama no, wait, sima yi destiny gundam so far it's the best sd from the sengoku i actually have a couple of sengoku sds i might do a show where it's just that i'm gonna try to build two of them in one show i think it's doable um so stay tuned for that one um love the sengoku stuff and that's from um owen uh, bb and sd sengoku uh are the best uh, hands down cs is coming out for that throne though yeah I, I i i'm more into the cs stuff over the sengoku but i like the sengoku's variety uh and details i think there's more intricate details um especially if you paint them um and jay he's an sd painter check him out jay leong if you guys have not been following him check out his stuff hand painted sd good stuff from that guy um thank you owen for subscribing very much appreciate that uh and congrats on the 3k oh my god that's from skyers thank you very much i'm hoping to hit 1000 by the end of the year dude you could do that a lot sooner man I, I, this guy mike skyers check him out on instagram lots of good stuff coming from this guy and check out his natchin love that love that everything this guy's doing so far uh has been amazing um uh, let's continue on owen uh join uh mex <laughs> join the side six it's side six not mech six group <laughs> are you in the otaku group too um hope your channel grows more more backlogs to build all right we're gonna stop there we're gonna continue on with the builds just so that we are still within time chandra thank you so much for joining in tonight and how are you doing tonight over there on the east coast oh sorry west coast um on facebook live we have quinn hey quinn about time miss you buddy all right, well, let's continue. Hopefully the jazz music is, is helping out, guys, to the theme of this. Really, really, I, I can't wait to, like, listen to some more jazz music after this. Um, so I'm going to probably pop that in uh, in my mix after the show. Um, and probably during the meeting with Dao, just for, for shits and giggles. Uh oh, I swore. Sorry for, um, I meant uh, snaps and giggles. Giggles work. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Actually, I've been very good. I have not sworn as much, and people who know me in real life, I, I swear like a pirate. Um, this show definitely is something I cherish, so therefore I try to like limit and, you know, um, my swearingness and be a little bit more professional, because I think a lot of that professionalism um, really helps um, with the show and, um, and not deter people away. I think overly swearing on shows sometimes can be... You know, it's cool, it's fun, but we're trying to attract the uh, the general public. I don't see it on the A. That's weird. Okay, let, let's go to the... Uh, this is the part... This is my first time actually checking out and referring to this guy here. Uh, what's going on? Where's the head? It is C. Guys, it's C. The correct answer is C. <laughs> Alright. Um, so I was close. But I missed it for some reason. Oh, there it is. I see it. I, I see it. 
Get it? This is on the C frame? That's my silly factor kicking in. I know. Cool. Alright, let's continue. First, we're gonna put this in the eyelid thingy. Like, like so? Okay. Very basic head um, installation from the looks of it. That's pretty much it. And then you put the front plate cover. And there you go. So we have the head at least completed or almost. And the one thing that I dread the most is this guy here. Because like once you lose this piece here, it's pretty much game over. I remember cutting the mud rock and uh, we had to force a overtime on that one just because we lost. Um, oops. Well, hopefully I'm not cutting the detail out. Okay, that, that is not detail. Sorry, I have to take it off camera because I need to look at what I'm shaving here. And... There's a little antenna. I remember seeing the antenna on the A. Yeah, this guy here. And... Oh, another small piece. Oh my god, small pieces. Ah! <laughs> Let's see. Um... Can you connect properly? Okay, cool. Lots of antennas happening here um, with the with this guy. So, ooh, lots of tiny bits. I see. Yes, Quinn. Hey, hey, hey. Over at Facebook Live, and let's see if we could put that in. Oops. Already, I could. I could already tell that this little little antenna is gonna be like the death of this this kit, hands down. Okay, let's see if I could nail that down a little bit more. Okay, it seems secure. There she is, um, pretty much all built um, body-wise, and we're gonna go ahead in the backpack. How much more time we have? Five minutes to do the backpack. Can we even do five minutes in the backpack? Probably not, but let's try. <laughs> I'm just pacing myself so that uh, yeah, we could uh, continue rolling with the uh, with the show a little bit. All right. Let's do that. Um, pretty sure. Okay, no, I am not sure. Uh oh, that's not how it goes. <laughs> Why am I cutting that? What? I'm, I'm like now just like bumble that bumble dazzling, bumble -dazzing. Okay, so that connects that. So that is still part of it. Uh, and then we have these beam sabers. Oh my god! All right, composure, Ariel. Let's uh, let's get this thing uh, back on the road. Okay. Does that sound good, buddy? Okay, ooh, ooh. I feel like I'm missing a piece there. Okay, so this looks like it's part of the backpack. Let's take that out. And this looks like definitely part of a backpack, so let's take that out. And these look like part of the backpack, so let's, we're gonna take all these A parts out and hopefully get that going. All right, yeah, Quinn, there's a lot of tidbits on this one. This is the Thunderbolt Gundam. Really cool, cool build so far. Um, for a variation of the RX-78, I really, I enjoyed the, the design for this one so far. Um, there's obviously a lot of details that needs to get addressed um, with custom colors, panel lining, etc. But overall design, I think the Thunderbolt really nailed a nice variant of the Gundam. Um, it's kind of like a love letter, I'd say, um, to the Gundam. Okay, so I did not lose it. It's actually here. So we're just going to pop this guy out. We'll shave that out afterwards. Anything else here? Nope, we're good. Um, I believe this comes into play. I just don't know where. So we're just going to take that out. And... These are probably for the gun, so I'm going to leave that alone for now. And for the E, I'm pretty sure like these packs here are supposed to be together, so we're going to go ahead and take these out. Alright, YouTube, what's going on? Wow, there's so many conversations! Oh, lots of stuff. Um... 
Okay, so guidelines. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's from set, I think, two. Um, there's usually a faceplate. Yep, we found a faceplate. A majority complaint that with the Shing Sh Soket Suden series is the amount of painting. Yes, there is a lot of painting involved, but like it's so satisfying when you complete it um, afterwards. Um, the ambience is dope. Thank you very much. Um, happy to be off work and getting to just hang out. Yes, Chan, how's it going? Hopefully you're staying safe out there uh, in the West Coast because I know there's like those forest fires still happening. Um, standard two peg backpack. Actually, two peg and a half. The two peg is a yes, but there's this extra little piece for security right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's there. Um... <laughs> Chips and giggles fits the pirate mouth. Arr! <laughs> Chandra, you swear? Nah, she, she's she's yeah, she's known me a long time, and uh, I've said things. I've said a lot of things um, that 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 I shouldn't have said to a lot of things about people, things and people. Are those things? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna take a quick break soon. I just want to get all the major pieces out of the way because the rest of this look like they're gun parts and rocket pods and stuff. So put that away for a second. Let's see how far we can get on this one. So this and this, um, I believe, can go together. Or am I, or am I guessing here? Okay, so there's definitely this, but there's something missing. I think that we got to put some stuff inside there. Uh, hmm. Okay, so it goes this way. So those are the two for that. These are the backpacks, sure. These guys here definitely connect from the looks of it to, to here or something like that. Maybe it goes like that. Sure. And and then these guys here are... Arr! <laughs> Arr! Just connected! Arr! Let's see here, and boom, so that goes on top, so be secured like here, like that, and this part here goes like this, and this part here, I want to say fits somewhere, I think I'm doing it wrong, right, so if that's the case, that's the backpack, and then there should be pegs here that connects it together. Like this, something like that, something like that. Okay, I think we're, we're well on our way. We're gonna stop it right there. We're gonna do our quick feature. I think that would be a really nice um, feature for that. Uh, which which slide was that again? Let's do this. Uh, nope, that is not it. Hey, hey guys, welcome to AO Mecha Live. Thank you for joining us tonight. So for this segment of the show, we're just gonna do a quick. Um, Let's see here. Uh, where is that scene? Is it this one? And okay, cool. There we go. And a little bit of a slideshow on some of the stuff that I saw on Instagram um, in the last week. Since last Wednesday, I tend to pick a top five of um, some sample work that I've seen that are pretty cool. So this one here is a custom. We were just talking about SDs, and this is the SD Barbados, I believe, um, that's customized by uh, Jackist. Jackista 110 um, and it's a really really cool nice custom on that I love the belt I love the color combination red gold and black really really is a classic classic color scheme um, really well done so check them out on Instagram the next one over here is by Kensuke dot creations and Kensuke uh, his work is is not necessarily uh, building model kits. It's like they do graphics that incorporate Gundam and Mecha. And this is a take on an RX seventy eight um, or is it a GP zero one? I don't even know, but it has that Gundam feel to it. Um, very Borderlands gun kind of feel to it. I thought it's brilliant, so that's cool. Next over here is by Reno Alfiki. Uh, uh, freaky, Fikri. I never get that right. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. Um, check him out on Instagram. Custom uh, color scheme on a Verka Master Grade um, Sazabi. Really cool color scheme here. The black, metallic, the accent of gold. Very, very nice. Um, and again, traditional colors of that that elegant black and, and minimalist gold kind of kind of color. Um, here we have uh, a work, uh, it's a Garadoga by the RB Gunpla Works folks uh, in Instagram. 
lots of cool like color scheme i know it feels almost like stock but i've never seen a blue doga before so to me this is a really nice change of colors give a different perspective there's also the little nice effect on the lights um really well done details uh, accents especially with the change of the um the, the i guess what do you call them the pipes um i think they're they're metal or at least they're painted in metal the garadoga is a really nice kit and i think it's a, it's part of the development of the messer so that um that is cool and lastly here we have something from miss vandry lee miss megs over at uh well vandry lee uh, instagram check her out um she did a cross uh silhouette um custom paint job on a nightingale and that this this diagram and di di diorama and vignette is just really really nice to to look at so give her a look see it's meg um meg from uh Vander lee check her out okay for next week um we have mr michael rinaldi check him out rinaldi studios.com will be our featured uh builder for the saturday episode i've been contacted um i contacted him and uh We've been collaborating, uh, making the show put together, and he has a lot of input on the show, a lot more so than our previous builder. So I'm kind of really taking a step back on the directorial part of it because, like, uh, it sounds like he has a creative mind for it. So I'm, I'm, I'm letting him roll with this and see uh, how it goes. So Michael Rinaldi will be our uh, feature builder for Saturday. Uh, Rinaldi Studios, check him out. You've probably seen his book. He did a book for the Zazabi. So we're going to be talking about that. He, he has also um, uh, have gone through conventions and be a spokesperson he has some really cool uh work especially in the armor and uh like chipping and all that stuff like nice details um so i'm very much looking forward to having a chat with uh michael here on this saturday's feature builder um episode so yeah that that is our feature recap um Let's get back to me real quick. So again, thank you guys for joining us tonight. Really, really appreciate it. Hopefully what I've shown you guys inspires you guys and continue building your work. Um, please tune in on Saturday. Check out the Feature Builder. And uh, yeah, lots of new stuff. Like I said, lots and lots of new stuff. I can't wait to show you guys the rest of the builders coming up after Michael. And there's just a lot more. So why don't we go back to the arena and try to finish the backpack? <laughs> Okay, so we're back at the arena. How far did we get? We almost got the backpack kind of sorted out, so that's kind of cool. Uh, let's continue on with this. So what do we need from here? E9. We need something there for sure. So I guess it'll be these guys here on the side. So we're going to get those guys out. All right. And Rani is doing dual chat both in Facebook and YouTube. This guy is a trooper. Rani, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what's going on at YouTube real quick. Um, oh my God, lots and lots of, of, of conversation happening. I love it. Um, let's start here. Plastic cement after you paint uh, for the small pieces. That's from Rent. Antennas are good. That's for the, uh, yeah, the antennas are showing you guys from Chandra, Saber or Dagger um from vince looks like setting the timer yesterday on a 30 minute kit you made you a bit aware of the build time yeah <laughs> um and the backpack reverse in two pin yes um has two pegs in the gm's backpack yeah but there's also that extra extra peg for this um so i've not built a lot of gms yet so maybe if they do have an extra pin in that I'll have to take your word for it. Doesn't help since I haven't seen the Thunderbolt GM backpack, but I'll get pics from you later. Yeah, for sure. Um, Neon Wave to chat to the chat. If there was a Gunpla anime manga that was serious, sort of the side of life, uh, serious sort of life. Sorry, serious sort of like a side slice of slide of life, slice of life. I don't know. While still having the fun and comedy of the previous series, would you be okay with it? I think I'd be okay with it. I mean, I'm oh. I mean, I would like to see more mecha for sure, but that's my my first impressions. Uh, from Chandra, our fires are getting under control. They keep uh, lifting the evac orders next week. Uh, it's a heat wave again, so we shall see. Oh man, be safe out there. Okay, I am going to continue on with this for a bit, and I will continue monitoring you guys. Um, hopefully you guys are having fun. You guys are chatting away. This is great. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. Where are we with the backpack? So it goes like this. So that means we need to get some uh, some stuff into here. So I know these are the details for it. How does this work? So if it goes like this, it goes up like this. Okay, cool. 
And this guy here goes up like so. But we're gonna take this out because like I I need there's it feels like something is missing here. Okay, let's let's clean the palette a little bit here and get some uh get some stuff going. So we got this, we got this, we got this. We don't okay, we have this over here that points up, yes. But we don't have the PC ten that goes up and down for this. Okay. That makes more sense. Uh, from Vince, uh, Ariel, I'll be sending you a link of a former GBWC champion if you are interested. Yes, because like we are very, very tired of interviewing the same person. I'm just kidding. Hey, what's up, Nico? Nicholas Teada Sanchez will be uh, back actually pretty soon. Um, we are co collaborating something, um, something short um, in the next while, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to connect with people for sure. Yeah, send me, send me their contact, please, 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 please. Okay, so I just popped that in. Hopefully, hopefully it worked. <laughs> I'm assuming because like that was the only peg I saw in there that 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 was missing something. So I'm assuming that is where things are gonna happen here. So we're gonna just pop that with the thunderbolt. Similar to the Living Dead, they they have like this arm thingies that connect to the back. So I'm assuming that is what that is for. Um, okay, so I think we can put the backpack together now. Well, at least I think so. It's like that has snapped together. So this is snapped together. This is snapped together. And we're gonna start needing some uh, oops stuff. Um, I don't know where this it goes here. Okay, cool. Sure, that's the fuel tank. And this guy here. And there's just some stuff here that we want to clean up real quick. I just don't know where this goes. Unless this is not part of it. Because... Okay, maybe that's not part of it. I'm just gonna assume it's not part of it. <laughs> okay, um, what we do need are the rest of these details. So these four here is gonna go to these guys here. And... Let's see here, the big thrusters as well is gonna go at the back. So the rest of this is gonna be the accent colors. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and chop all these guys out. Um, like so. And I want to say we're going to get the rest of these small details for the uh, fuel tank slash multi-directional thruster. Since I don't know the uh, exact um, translation of what that is from the uh, instruction manuals uh, or like the rather the box that we unboxed uh, earlier on this week on Monday. I, I'll be doing, a I wanted to get as much videos done in the next while, it's just like I've been kind of busy with work so. Do apologize for the lack of uh, production um, in the last while. So, okay. So, what do we need? We need, I guess, this big thruster thingy here. That will be the end part of it. So, why don't we do this? We got these four here. We got this. We got this guy here. There's three more thrusters there. So, I'm assuming that's for something. And let's continue. All right, so for you guys that are building over there, are you guys complete? How far along did you guys get? Um, and I know Jan was working on a paint job, so that is cool. How's that going along? Ben, are you working on anything at all tonight, or are you taking a break? It's been a while. I heard from you. Um, I think you were doing some kind of army for 40k um, last time we chatted, so nice little update would be nice, buddy. What's going on? <laughs> Quinn has been uh, watching the show since day one. Um, I think he has perfect attendance still. If not, then uh, we're gonna have to crown a, a new uh, champion. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> All right, let's continue. So it looks like this, this, and this. And we're gonna be left with those three and I have no idea where those three are gonna go yet. So we're just gonna go ahead and start putting this stuff onto kit so these are the heavier thrusters they're gonna just pop into the backpack like so I'm just gonna cut that out and it's also at the bottom of the backpack that's a nice little position there cool now what we need to do 
is get these little thingies here into the four-sided slots here. Uh oh, there we go. A little bit tricky just because we have to be a little bit precise on where we're going to connect the uh, thrusters at and try to cut and clean as well along the way. And because they are all equal, I'm just going to go ahead and put them where the next slot is going to be. Not necessarily in any particular order, but the gist of it is we need to put these sides on four sides of this. Uh, this thruster unit. I really love the contrasting color accent of the maroon to the white. Um, I think that's a nice regal color too. Oh my god! Come on, stick in there! <laughs> Sorry, that was a little outburst. Um, man, you know what this show needs? Like some kind of like um, sound effects. I'm gonna pull this out because it's becoming a little bit difficult. Sound effects bar was like wah wah, or like people laughing at me or something. I don't know. Well, I guess we don't need sound effects for that one, right, guys? That's what someone's thinking over there. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All good here. Okay, we're almost done that. We're going to put this guy here. And this guy here, we're just going to connect to that. And that is pretty much the fuel thruster and the backpack. Um, I'm kind of curious where the rest of those um, thrusters were supposed to go. Because there's a lot more thrusters here. And I can't tell if they're supposed to go on the sides of this guy. Probably do. Okay. I think each leg has three and that's what I'm missing. Okay. I've solved the issue, guys. I've solved the problem. We are going to go ahead and take these guys out. And we're going to put these guys on the leg portion of the... Thunderbolt. Well, actually, it's a full armor Gundam. So this guy here is now complete. So satisfying. Whoa, careful. And uh, yeah, so that woke me up. <laughs> Let's continue. We're going to get this guy here. And just kind of snap this guy. Let's see what's going on over at YouTube. Wow, lots of stuff happening, guys. You guys are so active tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out. Um, let's see. Neon Wave, sort of like Build Fighters, but more serious. Yeah, that was from the previous question. Uh, permission to paste link. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Um, Vince, more or less, yeah. Um, high grade in Kiyosuru Futari. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, Google Gunpla Builders D. Okay, okay. Um, they have an anime. Use my laptop for the white... Oh, for the YouTube chat. Okay, cool. Uh, and Randy could uh, finally join us over here. Jakista at 110's custom is sick and I love Envy at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, lots of stuff happening. I'll be um, So Vince will be sending you a link um, of your former GBW Sam champion if you are interested. Yes, absolutely. Okay, let's continue. Okay, and this runner is going to be finished shortly. Um, I'm pretty sure the backpack is complete, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug this guy in. Ooh, that sounded so satisfying, and it's definitely, guys, backpack heavy. Alright, so these purple stuff is actually part of the side of the um, legs. This guy is super maneuverable with all these, like, course-correcting thrusters. Wow. No wonder they couldn't catch. Like, he's fast like a thunderbolt. Get it? <laughs> kind of like Grease's lightning. No? Yes? <laughs> okay. So that is that for this guy. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be going to be... Um, that portion soon. So we're going to go ahead and just take these guys out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this guy the stand already. Um, that way he could just stand up. He can't stand at all because it's too backpack heavy as you can see. Try to stand him up. Nope. Try to stand him up. Arms forward. Okay, arms forward. Maybe I think with the shield... Oops. With the shield on, um, this guy could probably stand. And there goes the antenna. Okay. Gotta be a little bit more careful, Ario. 
I know you're excited. I am super excited. What's this? Oh, right. <laughs> it's when you ask me what's this, that is where we have trouble and issues. Oh, man. Okay. So we're going to get this. Oops. Oh, it got stuck a little. Ooh, ooh, took too much. So that needs puttying or something for it. And it's gonna go like this. This is an interesting stand. This is not something standard with all the other stand. I mean, the shape is definitely unique. This is the first time I've seen a stand like this. Interesting. And there's a peg at the bottom of this. I'm just gonna, there you go. It's standing now. Standing pretty nicely, actually. Well, floating, really. In space flight mode. We're gonna keep it like that for a bit. Oh. Uh, until we get the rest of the weapons. And uh, let's go try to get the weapons uh, going. Um, obviously, we have the shields still uh, in play. And... I'm pretty sure these guys here are what we're going to connect at the backpack. I'm pretty sure these are backpack connectors. So, find. Oh, that's going to be fun. Trying to get the. Oh, and there's the uh, antenna. Oh my god, things are flying. I should have plug this in before oh it's gonna be tricky oh nope okay that's one just gotta find the right whoa angle for it I'm gonna break the head so I'm gonna take this out uh, I can't find the Cover piece for that one. I might have to take it apart and... Oh, no! Good, good. We are good. So that... And it does that. Okay, interesting. I think I might have put it in the wrong way. So what if I do it this way? Huh. Okay, sure. Um, that is fine for now. I'm gonna keep the head separate, separated for now, um, just so that it's not gonna break or anything um, at all. So let's see here. Yeah. Whew, how are you guys doing? I I'm feeling a little uh, sweaty. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and with the weapons. I'm gonna start with the backpack weapons to keep that completed. This guy is filled with a lot of backpack weapons and front weapons that hopefully we'll get as completed in the next. Oh my god, it's 20 already. A lot longer than I thought it was going to be. So thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, we're gonna mission and complete this soon, so let's just go ahead and pick up the pace a little, Ariel, and uh, get it going. Oh, very interesting. Okay, so what happened is this is what's supposed to go there on those arm thingies because these are the closed position of the hands. If whatever I put, it deploys those hands there. So that's cool. I was looking for something like this, kind of like the closed hands because I know that the Thunderbolt um, Gundam, like the Living Dead, have that, that extra limbs that are attached to the backpack to connect with the, uh, with the weapons and all that, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and start taking everything out of this um, runner because then we will just kind of figure the rest out once we get it all chopped up and batched together. Oops. Let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the arms, but we're probably not gonna use this at all. Um, at least not for this view. I'm probably gonna do it in a post photo photo op. With this kit. Take this out. I'm gonna put it on the side over here so we don't forget it. But then we have these two plates here. I'm gonna this is a very, very tiny piece that I'm gonna make sure we cut. 
We'll put it on the side there for now. Okay, so runner F now complete. Good stuff. Um, let's see. How many more stuff do we have here? Lots of stuff still, so I'm gonna put the shield somewhere here, get a little bit of like storage space. That is also one part. This is one part, that's one part, this is one part, and let's continue! We're gonna do another quick break in about seven minutes, um, just so that I could wrap this up, um, or try to anyways. I don't know if we're going to do it in seven minutes, to be honest, but uh, we'll see. I'll probably do another break anyways, just so that we are still within the mark. And then there's this guy here, which is uh, part of the weapons. And uh, I think that is still there, but this guy C is complete. Okay. Whew. Oh my god! Let's let's see what we could do with this. Um, so this is definitely a snap together, but there's a piece there for uh, connecting with the backpack. Let's see. How's the chat going, guys? I haven't seen much um, going on here. Are you guys still with me? Are you guys hanging out? Let's see. How do I reload this page here? Restore chat, and oh, there is some stuff. See, that's that's what happens. I thought there was like some stuff happening, and uh, it just kind of froze. So I'm gonna go back uh, and try to read some of these guys. Sending you a link for the former GBWC. Um, did you do the polycaps? Uh, there you go. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Uh, maybe if there aren't any available builders, you can interview artists lead, um, like those who make original designs, fan art, and mecha related. Actually, yes, that is also true. Uh, I, I have a couple of um, artists in mind that I want to bring in um, in, the ne in the future episodes. It's just right now there's like, some schedule conflicts um, with them, so definitely going to be something that I will be doing in the future for sure. Um, I sent you links on your IG. Thank you very much, Vince. Uh, Chandra, Mike, are you going to repaint uh, or keep the colors? That's awesome. Uh, working on the limbs of the Legout now. That's from Brian. Good stuff, guys. Uh, definitely feeling the Wednesday night vibe. I'm glad you guys are keeping busy. I'm so happy. So happy, guys. All right, so let's put this together. What we'll need here is the PC-10. And knowing for the fact that the other rocket pod is going to be another PC-10, we're just going to go ahead and cut these guys out. Like so. So we are going to take the PC-10, plug it into this guy here, and then we're going to attach it to the backpack momentarily. I love over-the-shoulder cannons and over-the-shoulder um, uh, weapons, because like that just gives like that extra level of badass, I think. Um, to the kit. Oh man, did I throw that out? I had that like part thingy that does stuff for me. <laughs> Wait, maybe I could do this. Can I do that? Nope. We have to take it apart. Because like I said, the PC part and the hole sometimes don't jive with this kit for some reason. And that's exactly what happened uh, to this guy just now. So, doing a little bit of backtracking, make sure that it fits. That fits there. And we're gonna try our best again to get this thing to go uh, and fit on the opposite side. Okay, more or less. Um, not satisfied with how it is, so maybe this guy would, would help a little bit more. And ideally, they're supposed to connect to these guys here. So let's see if we could get that connected with ease. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, I don't know, should we keep the arms? And have it like all floaty and stuff like this? Yeah, sure, why not? I think it looks kind of ridiculous, but... There you go, cool. And then we'll get to these guys um, at a later time when it's all not deployed, per se. Is that a nib? Yeah, it is. Get rid of that. 
I know usually the, um, the latter part of the episodes are more chill and approaching completion, but man, this guy is really giving me the run for my money. <laughs> I still don't know where this is going, so that's something I gotta figure out. Um, these are cover plates. Oh, no, I forgot. Forgot the cover plate. So this goes here. I knew I knew it felt something was off on it, and it goes like that. So now it looks more like a gun. Looks cool. And because we've already worn that in, this should just kind of connect and ease. Okay, looks good so far. Very nice. Um. Let's see, should we go with the rocket pod next? Those guys here, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think we should just do that. Uh, get the actual backpack um, done and then finish off the front weapons. And the rocket pod itself is just two pieces from the looks of it and... Oh, you know what we didn't do? And hopefully it's still here because like, I can't find it. There it is. The um, this little piece slides into here, or supposedly, anyways. Um, and this is like the, the the nozzle of the beam cannon. So let's see if I could somehow position. It's a bit tricky because it's a smaller piece. Uh, I should have gotten tweezers or something for this. And I don't have my tweezers handy at the moment. Oh, and I don't want to lose it too. Oh my god. Um, do we have any type of tape? Alright, we're gonna do a little creative thing here. Okay, so if it cannot connect one way... Let's see if we could connect it this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use like a tape to position it, hold it, and see if we could get it in place. Uh, it's not working. Nope, not working. And my fingers are too fat for it. Oh man, if I lose this piece, I am gonna be so pissed. <laughs> Alright, uh, maybe it just needs a little bit more shaving here. Not fitting in that hole properly. Maybe now. We'll do it one more time. If it doesn't fit, I will just try to remember to bring it in after after the show. I don't want to be stuck in this. Oh! Yes! Nice. Like a glove. Oh my god. That was so tense. <laughs> um, set has to go. Uh, let's see here. Oh no, not I have to go. There's just a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, wait, no ammo bags. Those slide in place in the arms of the shields. Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. We're gonna we're gonna work on these shields shortly. Um, oh, I see. These guys connect to the shields. I get it now because they hold it in place. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Got it. Neon Wave, gotta go. Gotta work tomorrow morning. Hi, ah, thanks for joining us, uh, Neon. Thanks for uh, hanging out. We're gonna try to finish this uh, in the next half hour, but you know what? Let's do a quick break so I could like at least clean up a bit and then we are gonna continue for the final leg of this one. Check this out. Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Ariel from AOMecha. I just wanna let you guys know about all my other social media outlets. If you haven't had a chance to check them out at facebook.com slash AOMecha. On YouTube, youtube.com slash AOMecha. On Instagram, instagram.com slash AO underscore Mecca. On Twitter, at AO underscore Mecca and on Discord, fairly new, uh, that one is uh, AO underscore Mecca, hashtag 3414. Anyways, hope to hear from you guys uh, through any of those platforms. Feel free to DM me or PM me as well as emailing me. My email is aomecca.info at gmail.com. Just want to let you guys know that this episode is brought to you by 
USA Gundam Store, please check them out, www.usagundamstore.com and save on your purchases when you use my discount code AOMECA10. All right, let's get back to the show and see what's going on there. All right, and we are back. We are going to try to speed our way here. I'm going to give myself a 15-minute timeline, and I think that would be more than sufficient to do it. Um, so let's continue building this together. I'm just trying to snap fit it all so that we could get this up and going. So that is pretty much the uh, rocket pod. So it's very simple. I was hoping that there is a... I'm pretty sure the master grade have this thing open where you could obviously launch the rockets uh, from it. I'm gonna go and put that and install this here. Like so. I don't think we need anything else for that. I think that's it. So that's really cool. I, like, I really like this very simple design of the uh, rocket pod. Okay, so let's go on. I think we are in the final stretch. So again, the Gundam head I'm keeping on the side because this antenna keeps falling. Um, and I don't want to lose it, so the Gundam head will stay somewhere there. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut the rest of these gun pieces out, and hopefully um, we'll just put them together and we'll be finished with the kit. Thank you guys for joining, and oh man, like, it was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but that's what happens with live streams. Sometimes you never know um, what's going to go, what's going to happen and, and all that, but thank you guys for hanging out and supporting um, the stream tonight. Uh, big shout out to everybody that's that's joining us um, and and let's see what's going on here. Vincent Roy, uh, maneuverable. You say wait till you see the thrusters on the cycle, Saku. <laughs> oh man, I I can't wait to build that one as well. So hopefully that is in, in the future episode of um, AO Mecha Live. Uh, we're gonna try to make that happen for sure, guys. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut every pieces out that I think that's part of the gun because I think this is the last leg of the gun. Um, just have to like sandwich these guys together. Get these. Uh, oh, that's a big nozzle. Love these like giant cannon nozzles that they got going for the beam uh, twin beam gun here. Nice. Cut. 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 And I don't know what this is, but we're going to take this out. And I believe that is it for um, the E gate. So that being said, everything that we need to complete this should be in, in this pile right here. So we're going to go ahead and try to knock all these guys out piece by piece, weapon per weapon. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this guys here and put them together. Queezy, hey, how's it going, man? Hey, Ariel, hey, and everybody. Awesome. Glad you could join us tonight. We're just hanging out. Um, everybody else is still hanging out. We got Mike Skyers, we got Chandra, we got Set, um, Neon Wave. Oh, man, so many people. Hobby Works by Ranny, both on, on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you so much for that. And Owen Atkin joining us and just hanging out. And for you guys who's joining us as well, thank you for tuning in. Hope you guys are having a good day, good evening. Um, you know like whichever part of the world you guys are at thank you for for spending some time and hanging out with me let me know what you guys are up to and also r13 is here of course how can we forget about r13 the almost done with the legao okay <laughs> he's been racing with me um the legao is the orange um cat like creature from uh the gundam seed series and uh he's been working on that since i, I think we started the stream so that's kind of cool Okay, so this, we finally, I finally figured out where this is going. So it's gonna go here, like so. Got this going, and I guess it goes like this. Okay, that's neat, and this is the right hand weapon. Um, huh. I think I forgot something inside it. I might have to take this apart. And let's see here. Whoops. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely have to put something in the in the middle because uh, otherwise it's not gonna stay um, connected. Cause like I feel like it, yeah, there's something missing in there. I saw the hole, and I was like, oh, that's probably nothing. And I'm like, nope, nope. 
that is definitely something. So I'm gonna have to backtrack a little. Like every adventure, there's always gonna be that time where oops, and these nozzles actually feel quite heavy. I don't want to break them as well. And I don't want to lose them because like things tend to be flying out all over the place. Woo wee! Hang on. I can't even tell where the nozzle starts. Okay. There we go. EK's desk, hey! How's it going? EK's desk joining us tonight. Alright, we're gonna do a quick backtrack. We're gonna need a PC 13, I believe, for this guy here. So the PC 13, this guy right here. And since I'm a betting man, I'm just gonna take out the other piece for the other side, and then hopefully that will do it. Right, there we go. Perfect fit um, on the cannon part. Ah, almost had it. Almost had it. So we're all good. Let's continue. The good thing about backtracking sometimes is you know exactly where you are and just gets pretty fast to get back where you need to be. Okay, so that's one and this is going to connect to I think something like this. Um, we're going to get to the shield in a second, but we're just going to continue. Then yes, I was as a betting man right there. That is where this guy is going to slot in. I'm going to continue on like that. And let's see. I think this connects. It doesn't matter which side it connects because it's just a rocket launcher. It's pretty even, except for this part here. It's on, on one side um, of it. So I think that is it for that. And let's see. So this... How, do, how does this connect? Does it connect like this as a sensor? Okay. And this connects to what? Like this? Okay. Which means this is a cover plate for you. Interesting. Very, very nice design on this one. Um, and I don't know where this goes. Where do you go? I don't know where this goes. <laughs> Does it go in the backpack? Oh, I, I guess it does. Somewhere over here. There it goes. Okay, so the backpack is complete. Sweet. Okay, and this goes with... I want to say this guy here. That? No. Like, how do you go? How do you hold this? Okay, so you hold it this way. And this connects this. Okay, sure. All right, so we got those and we got this going. <laughs> uh, EK says, running your stream on the background as usual while working. Awesome! Um, hearing your voice makes me feel I'm building too. Aw, thank you very much, EK. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun. Um, Queasy, the Jazz Gundam build with Kevin McLeod in the background. Yep, it is so breezy right now. So hopefully you guys are liking the background music. I just remembered I could chat on the phone while streaming on the big screen. Oh, awesome. Yeah, hang out with us for a bit. <laughs> um, all right, let's continue. Gundamizer! Nice bro! How's it going Gundamizer? <laughs> We're gonna need the, the, these guys here and I have a feeling it's gonna be the PC one because that's the only piece here that has any remote at all for for that. So we're gonna go ahead and take the PC. Oh, that's PC2. We need PC1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, and we're gonna, gonna, gonna go ahead and plug this guy in the hole and there's gonna be four of them. There's a tape that I don't need anymore that's totally useless. I thought I was gonna do some kind of cool trick but it, it totally didn't work. I mean in other um, places sure it should work but this one not so much. Sorry I'm just getting rid of some nub marks. Oh this thing needs a proper cleaning afterwards for sure. 
All right, so that's one shield. Whoops. This is the second shield right here. The third shield. Come on, guys, we could do this, All right? Are you with me? Are you with me? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm gonna continue on. Plug this in. Okay, and we're gonna do the top shield holding like this. We're gonna do another top shield holding like that. This shield here is gonna connect with this guy for the rocket launcher pad thingy or hand missiles. And then this guy here is gonna connect with the double beam saber. Oh, not double beam saber, double beam uh, gun cannon thingy. So that's cool. Very, very interesting. <laughs> okay, let's try to uh, connect this guy. So if we're gonna connect it that way, I don't think we need this connector, but we will need interesting. Uh, interesting choices here. So we need to put the gun in first. Oh my god. All right, we're gonna have to take all of these pieces out in order for this thing to work. Apparently. So we're gonna go ahead and ah try to get these guys out. We're gonna put this together now, and hopefully we are in the last leg of our build session tonight. We're probably going to be approaching two hours for this for sure. Um, and thank you guys for troopering it out with me. Hopefully you guys are having fun, chilling, relaxing. Some of you guys might be building. So that's cool. Making new friends. Um, that's what I, I really love about our show, um, especially with you guys on board. Um, just hanging out and getting to know other builders um, that are in the same um, you know, field, field but like the same genre of like mecha, anime, lore, especially Gunpla. Um, I, I do plan on doing non-Gunpla um, builds in the future. Um, I'm actually looking at a couple of uh, items right now that I, I might be doing um, in the next show as we approach episode 50. Guys, we're approaching episode 50. Can you believe that? I, I'm still in shock. <laughs> how far we have come as a group um with the show so thank you guys okay we got the hand missiles on the left hand we're going to continue on with the right hand now and see if we could get this going let's see sweet 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 yeah it is looking badass like I definitely want the Master Grade now after this, for sure. Um, I actually had the Master Grade and I believe I sold it. Um, I know it's unfortunate, but I, I had to because like I wasn't planning on building it anytime soon. Um, and I gave it to someone or somebody bought it that wanted to build it more so than I did. And uh, I'm pretty sure they've already completed their, the build of that as well. So anyways, um, I don't have any separation issues anymore. So. Just to show that like I am okay with things um, kind of just going, you know? Okay, so I have no idea how we're going to position this because there's a lot of shields happening uh, with this. I don't even know where the beam sabers are going to be held. Uh, I'm going to put that aside as an accessories. But here she is, guys. The uh, full armor Gundam, all its glory. Uh, a little bit on the side uh, view quick rotation of it um, and yeah that's that's him um, let's see here can we can we drop the camera is that even possible can we do can we do a little a little shake and dance before we take the rest of the night off um, let me see here I'm gonna move this aside I am gonna move to this camera for a second here while I try to fix this and see if we could get this on a lower angle or at least in a angle that we could uh, take a look at it a little bit closer. I think this would be a nice angle right here. Can you do that? Can you secure it around here? All right, we'll work with this one. Let's go to the arena again. Um, so here it is, full armor Gundam. Uh, it's not in the best pose and oops, there goes the antenna. I'm gonna put that back later, but 
you kind of get the gist of it. It's pretty massive. I, I actually want to do a size comparison real quick before we go. And this is something that needs proper review anyway. So this is the Mudrock. And this is the size comparison between the two. So what I noticed is the uh, the RX, uh, sorry, not the RX, the FA78 is taller than the Mudrock. And Mudrock is roughly the same size as the RX78. Um, bulkier, heavier in size, as you could tell. Um, Gundam-wise, both have really good aesthetics, but presence-wise, this guy takes the cake. Just because of with the four shields, the giant booster backpack, the weapon arrangement for this one is really, really nice. I love this two ca cannon and then the missile uh, handheld launcher there. Uh, not so much of a fan of the uh, antenna falling, but that's aesthetics. Um, there's a little bit of limitation, especially with some of the articulation with all this stuff attached to it. I don't want to um, go too much into articulation, but like the shields are can rotate a little bit, so that's that, that's helpful. But the arm is fixed, so I, we can't really do much in regards to posing with this other than up and down, I guess, from the looks of it. So I don't even know how I'm going to get this to go to the back of it. Um, or even maybe... Yeah, I, I, I don't know how I'm going to pose this yet, but definitely a challenge. Uh, we've done the leg earlier on and could do this, so it has like a nice little flight pad. It can actually also do a kneeling position. So that's cool. Overall, the design of this kit is really good. Backpack heavy, but if you're willing to live with that and be okay with the stand, I think overall this kit is a really nice kit, um, especially with desk presence or shelf presence. Uh, definitely something that I would paint. The only thing on that one, and we're just going to throw it back real quick um, to the sticker sheets. These guys are not something I, I'm a fan of. Um, even the details here so but this this is cool uh, for straight building yeah stickers could work um, but for builders who are like to paint probably not something that uh, is for you guys um, definitely encourage uh, if you want a challenge this is definitely a nice kit for it lots of parts lots of details especially with the um, the mold on the arm for the sleeves and the, the joints and all that stuff Lots of panel separation, surprisingly. There's also really good key areas where they hide the seam lines, especially in the front. Um, only seam lines are noticeable probably like at the shoulder, at the top of the um, armor pack there. Uh, sorry, the top sh shoulder and the bicep area have some seams. Seams on the gun. Um, a little bit seams at the back here for the boosters. I mean, it's definitely a work, but like from an out-of-box build, it is actually pretty solid, so yeah, I think I enjoyed it. The build is pretty cool and uh, lots of parts, and it used up everything in the runner. So, okay, um, thank you guys for <laughs> you know hammering this out with me. I'm just gonna put this guy uh, on the side here so that it's not like in my face too much. Um, I, I gotta find a some kind of system where I'll be able to rotate the camera freely um, when I'm doing my uh, shows. Um, let's just quickly go over and see what's going on at Facebook Live. We have Quinn and uh, Jan uh, and Ranny there. Um, let's see here. Thanks, Ranny. Um, Quinn, uh, such a beast. Looks really sturdy too. Yeah, actually, surprisingly, it is sturdy. I, I really like the the overall uh, build of it. So yeah, I, I'd recommend it. It's definitely a cool kit. But if I was to choose between this and the Master Grade, I'd probably lean on the Master Grade, especially it's a Verka. Um, okay, let's let's take a look at the uh, YouTube real quick just to see what's going on over there. Seth, thank you for joining us tonight. Queasy, R13, Chandra, Gundamizer. Uh, I know Rani is also here too. R13, Vince. Oh man, I'm just going back. We, we um, Neon Wave already left. Um, but thank you for joining us and uh, Mike Skyers as well joining us. Guys, thank you so much for an amazing stream. Um, really, really do appreciate that. Don't forget to check out all of my you know, social medias. Add me, um, I'll, I'll add you back for sure. Um, I'll be streaming also uh, this Saturday with our feature builder, Michael Rinaldi. Rinaldi? Looking forward to that. I actually have, oh, I don't have it with me. Do I have it here? Where did I put them? The books? I wanted to, oh, hang on, give me one second, guys, one second. Um, we are going to be talking about um, his book, so he sent me a copy of it, um, which is this guy here, um, the Sazabi SM03 and Tank 3 Art. So we are going to be talking um, about his stuff here 
Um, so you guys have the first sneak peek of um, the show that's coming up on Saturday. So hopefully you guys can uh, can join that as well. Uh, this show is powered by USA Gundam Store. Feel free to check them out, www.usagundamstore.com and save with all your purchases if you use my discount code AOMECA10. Also, Gun Primer, that's a, a, new, com- a new company, but a new partner with, uh, with AOMECA. We're going to be doing unboxing of um, their products uh, in the next while, so stay tuned for that. New content coming up, and hopefully by Monday, we can start using some of their products. Uh, there's some stuff here that I'm really, really looking forward to checking out uh, and using. So also, GunPrimer.com uses the same discount code uh, if you buy through their site or from USA Gundam Store. They carry their product as well, uh, AOMECA. Dot, sorry, not AOMECA.com. It's AOMECA10. That's the discount code. All right. Um, thank you guys for joining in. That, that's pretty much it for me. For those of you guys that are joining in tonight for the first time, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button um, to be notified of future content. I'll be streaming Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, 9 p.m. EST usually. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in the next stream. So hopefully you guys are having a good Wednesday for you guys in the future, having a good Thursday. Till next time, take care. See ya.